it up, so me give it up, so me give it up to our girls. Five million and forty naughty shorty. Baby girl, I'm a girl, I'm a girl. Sound the pulse, say. R34, just move it for us, so you're gonna see us jumping in an R34. Got this bad boy, put it in there, for the openers. Video this is good. This how it started. Old Japanese car. There you go. Wow, the clutch is dead heavy. So heavy. What the? There you go. Right. The sun's absolutely blinding me, yeah, yeah. So, for those who don't know, up DMM Porter's new unit. I'm your new vlogger, and it's my job to basically, how do I focus? It's my job to show you all these cars. So, I think we need to work as a team, and you let me know in the comments what you wanna see. This is just a little intro vlog. I'm Callum. This, this is an absolute pleasure. Jürgen was looking for someone to come up here and show off his cars. Look no further, my friend. I'm excited. I've met a few people. This is the first year. There's a special guest coming tomorrow. And it's someone I've actually watched for years and years. So we're getting the, the unit ready for him. Let's see. He's in here doing the detailing. That's for that there is for the vlogs. This is a little sneak peek and a little in the channel. I've got a I've got the creative mind of making videos, so it's more or less can I do it? See what we can do. This is JM Imports. Welcome. Well welcome to the fresh start. So, if you like what you see, stay tuned. Bang. So, Ricky and uh, Jürgen shooting the Lamborghini. So whilst they're on the Lamborghini, we've got a Lamborghini about to go on the dyno in a Ventador V12. Stock in it? Yeah, as far as we know. As far as we know, stock. I've not heard anything like this. Take make some noise, eh? Do it. MTV this, man. Unreal. Get ready again on the dyno and then we'll skip to it. So, see you in a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Detailing lad from James been working on this beauty. Black, one of the hardest cars to do. Look at that one. A carbon. There's the Lambo. This is Jürgen's baby. Looking gleaming. So, Ricky's cars is getting strapped up properly now. And then we're going to be good to go. I'll skip it, it's when we're going. I only like to put it in the good parts. His cars had a few dinos. It's, it averaged a nice, a nice amount of power. Jenny, Jenny, one people then know what you got dino figures, or not? I don't know. You have to check. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, I could show them. I'm not gonna show them. Uh, uh, we can do stuff. Where's the price? It's nice. Like, okay, would you get one of these? Absolutely. Yeah. Anything, like Beautiful car, like well done. Yeah, now it is. If you watch us, well done, mate. You deserve it. Hard work putting these videos together. It's not as easy as just going. Oh yes, we'll just take this and then you know, we'll just uh, we'll just put a few videos together. Nah, it's fucking. There's a lot of it. It's like the English version of Fast and Furious. Uh, absolutely. You've got Jürgen his horn. Hands. Aye, got the characters right. We'll make one Fast and Furious videos. Am I allowed to say that? Is that copyright? Oh, I'm saying it. We'll be better on Fast and Furious. Anything Japanese, you bring it up, yeah. Any make and model. There you go, eh? Yeah. Any make and model. He's gonna do my, uh, he's gonna do my beam, eh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. This is, this is the life of GM imports. Not, not the way far live, like. But it's a life Jürgen lives, and he's given me the job to show you. It's, it's an absolute dream world. It just goes on and on and on. So let us know what you'd like to see, and I'll put them together for you. Let us know in the comments what you want. We work together as a little team. Did it once, but they did it three times that day. I ran like an A3, but that was 2014 then. But then I lost time with kids to go to the track and keep trying, you know? Like I had a couple of years out. So, like I've only went there with that big power. I've only done six runs on the drag strip. Where, where are you based? On a slab. Wow. I used to go there, red in the slab, red in the third. Well, then still the quickest hurricane just, in the world stock. Just, just Jürgen bragging about his uh, record Lamborghini. 
Well, it's been a nice day today. I've met Ricky. Well, it's mad, it's mad seeing it in real life. Jürgen's just jumping in his Lambo. Some of the lads over here watching a, a nice BMW M140. And see what cars are in the garage, eh? <laughs> Look at that man, pink GDR. But today is Monday, I'll just give you a little walk in the shop, see what's going on, eh? Ah. Have you ever seen a car as beautiful as that man? Unreal. A nice skyline, yeah. It's getting a custom exhaust made. Show you what it looks like when it's done. Just up Junior's service centre with Jürgen. Had a nice little drive up. We're getting the R34 GDT, the vehicle inspection. Hope you enjoyed the little drive because I know that I did. That was my dad. Hopefully, I get a nice little drive back. Can you play it? Nice Scooby over there. But aye, this is Junior's service centre. If anyone needs it, you know where it is. Filming and practicing on you. 
what it's all about. We that's the skyline had its inspection on the way about the depot. Look at the depot there. This unit? The headquarters. Unit here. The unit, the headquarters. GM, that's what we're gonna call it. But the GM. So today is Monday. There's not a lot went on today. Just went for a little drive with Jurgen. And the R34, that was my first experience. It's mad, just different class. But tomorrow, come look for another day, see what happens. So I'll see you in the morning. Right, everyone, we're going from the Japs to the Germans. This is my little car. Quite loud outside. Uh, this is my little toy. So I'm heading home now, so I'll see you all tomorrow. It's mad, he's ready. Some sports pros. It's Tuesday. I don't watch this. This is Pockets. Great swimming out with Rob. And this is his work now. Yeah. And what you've done right, well, Rob. Just put the new G Series, the G35 on Rodney's car. Uh, fabricating the down pipe, the screamer pipe. We've just made the top boost pipe. Uh, reused his old air filter. That's pretty much it. You happy with that? Happy. You happy with that? No. He's not happy with that. <laughs> but I'm happy with that. Rodney's car. Also fitting the modified housing. As you can see it's been machined out. Wow, well, I can see. It's got the grooves in it. Yeah. Courtesy of Boost Logic. Boost Logic. So that's normal. Modified. It's got some pull in that leg. Like. Just sitting in that lane there and seeing it with us, you'd be like, eh. Automatic, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Practicing. How's it going, everyone? With the Jurgen. What we're in here, Jurgen? This is a Mitsubishi Air Trek 4x4 turbo and it runs this Evo 7 engine, I believe. Good family's car. So we just started importing these. Obviously, with me having kids and that, I wanted something. You know, JDM that's a bit nippy, so this fits the bill. I've had a few things, you know, Evo wagons, but I'm trying to get different varieties of what, what are these Japanese people, carriers. What are these uh, price range at? So these normally start from about £6,000 on the Short road. One. Yeah. I need to uh, practice more. I was just shocked. <laughs> £6,000 though for a car like this with an yeah. Evo engine in the bonnet. Come on. Getting the MOT done, the car. Check it out and then you can give them a bit. Yeah. See what the people think of it. You've gotten yourself a new unit, the long yeah. bend, and you're still using the same MOT plates. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, so Callum, so when we go for an MOT test, it's nice to go out in the car for 20 minutes and get a feel for the drive, if it needs anything. Normally we're in 20 minutes of driving and I do a report on the car, what it needs, how it drives, how it performs, and then obviously when I get the MOT, I have a look at it more detailed and then we can do an initial worksheet report for the guys at the shop so they can do any repairs should it should it need something you know so it's I prefer rather than just going around the corner which we have got an MOT literally around the corner around the yeah. corner it's like not even 30 second drive I prefer going out for a drive in the car get a feel drive it get a feel for it do a proper report on the car see what it needs report it back to the boys do a worksheet and then they prep the car for the customer so yeah that's why I like going out for a drive it does take a lot of time maybe two hours of my day doing one car but Gets um, it done properly yeah we want the cars to be right this is the Japanese D-Reg this is just the last owner details in this paper we need for registration obviously this car's got 33,000 kilometers I think in 2017 I had 28,600 kilometers so the guy gets a chassis number from here um, and this is how we start the process to register in the car but we need to get this car checked out see if it needs anything my bet is this car's mint I think obviously 
because we bought it as a high condition car so it needs a f maybe a few things doing like a bit of valentin oil and filter speedo chip that's it you don't need to put a speedo chip for mot because it's in it's not an iva car only iva cars need to go under miles per hour so yeah so let's uh, get some pictures and get a test on so he's in the boat Right, so that's pretty much everything done. Car's been checked over, everything's spot on. Looks brand new underneath. Thanks very much, Stu. We're gonna head back to the unit, so I'll see you when we get there. So it's a Tuesday night. That's us done for the day. Got a couple of dino runs. That's in the air, finishing it off. But I'm away home for the day. I'll see you all tomorrow. How's it going everyone? It's, uh, it's two o'clock on a Wednesday. I've came up a little bit later today. I got caught at work. But um, let's go and take a look at what's happening. Got a very nice M140 in here. A bit like mine. A bit grey. It's getting done by Matt. It's already been ceramic coated, but it's getting done again. Look at that gloss on that one. For anyone who doesn't know what ceramic coating is, ceramic coating is the next level, isn't it? Yeah, it's the latest in protection technology for paint, wheels, glass, um, trims, basically anything. Anything you want, uh, fabric, leather, um, rubbers. You know, you can ceramic coat pretty much anything now. Um, but what does it do? So a ceramic coating basically forms a bond or at a microscopic level with the clear coat on your car so that the clear lacquer that protects your paint when your car comes from the factory um, it forms a bond on a molecular level with that uh, it effectively becomes the top layer it's like a shield. Effectively, yeah. So it makes the paint um, less susceptible to scratches, uh, damage from UV, acid rain, uh, bird lime. Um, it, so it hardens and cures to a level um, that is. Basically, as, as hard as the clear coat underneath, um, it adds additional shine and gloss. Um, it, it really is short of, short of putting paint protection film on your car. It's probably the best way to protect your investment. Um, these days, people spend a lot of money on cars. They're more expensive now than they ever have been. And if you want to protect your investment, that's the way to do it. First thing you should do in it when you buy a new car like this, get it all ceramic coated. I offer new car protection packages here at GMD Detailing, uh, at GM Imports new headquarters in Benton. We've got coatings and um, protection packages to suit most budgets, in all fairness. Um, protection, durable uh, ceramic protection starts with me um, at just £100 as an add-on so it's not massive money um, but you get for what you pay for basically isn't it? no doubt no doubt so 
if you've been thinking about it, if you've been sitting on the fence and you're unsure and you want to come and have a chat with me, come and have a chat with me. I'll explain. Well, you've uh, got an uh, Instagram page as well, haven't you? I have. I've got an Instagram page. I've got uh, a Facebook page. The website is nearly finished. Um, so there's the website as well. Um, there's another way of contacting them. Just get in touch. If you're unsure, you want to find out a little bit more about what ceramic coatings can do for you and your vehicle, just give me a shout. I'll be more than happy to explain. Hey, Ganyu, who's just heard it? If he's on a price, if he's wanting to ask something, hit him up. Plenty of ways to find him. Or even just come up here. Gan. Gonna say my head home. I will see what this looks like tomorrow. See you in a bit. How's it going, everyone? So, today is the day. I call Romain from Race Cal uh, and basically he's just gonna do loads of tuning and that on the dyno. So first we've got a Toyota Supra to go on. We've got Chris there strapping it up now. But I'll try and get some bits of Romain talking about what he's doing but if not it's just gonna be like dyno clip videos because it's hard to ask someone to try and talk on camera for the first time. So we'll see what happens. There's a customer just pulled in, right? Look at this. Right. Look at this. This this is the part I wanted to show you, right? Look at this. Are you ready? Are you ready? What the hell? Right everyone, I've got the owner of the GTR here. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Baz. Nice to meet you. Do you want to show us what you've, you've done to your baby? Full carbon bonnet, that's been painted on the outside, just as I like a smooth clean with the car. Right, right. Um, so under, under the bonnet now, this is actually pretty much a full race spec engine. It's running just under 1,000 brake horsepower and 950 foot torque, which is all in it, uh, 4,000 revs. So it's an extremely usable daily car, but it's just so much fun to drive. Wow. You got the full carbon on the outside. Yeah. And the pipes, these are all one off custom parts. So that's rampage there on the top. Yeah. Let us know what you think, people. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, so that was yep. a fully around. Um, these are 20 inch AVG wheels. Uh, they came from, uh, I think, California. We've got a full set of ceramic brakes fiber uh, endless pads they are and all the titanium fasteners you see put all together yeah yeah I've got that yeah. so as we go around the car um, the pillars wing mirrors all the carbon trim you um, like your carbon don't you yeah I think I think if you can get a balance right it looks good bang oh but it's actually I've got air ride in the car so, um, base mechanics based here in uh, Cramlington. Oh, yeah. uh, they've done my uh, air right. The, the guys here in the mechanics done the site, and Monty and they have done all the install. So this is what we've got. We've got the main tank, the two compressors. Um, I paid a little bit extra to make sure everything was chromed. I do like the chrome, and um, we've got the custom hair splits made up as well. Godzilla. And apparently, Monty tells me that actually reads as Godzilla when you the eye. It's Japanese for Godzilla. Uh, carbon fiber, 
uh, boot lid, it's a duck tail. Um, and again, the outside of it's been painted up to match into the rest of the car. Look at these edges all, oh, he's ready, look at the edges. Absolutely perfection. Baz says he'll give anyone £20 if they can come over here and fire a fault on his car. <laughs> so I missed an important bit, right? The front bumper along the bottom. The bumper itself, the whole unit, is uh, from Japan. It was a, a Rowan Tommy Kaira make, and uh, it's a one off. And it took about nine months to come from Japan. Ooh, nine months. It was so different at the time, oh. I've been probably three, maybe four years now. But I still I like the quite quite nice aggressive look and it sort of fitted in well with the car. Uh, and just complemented it with the, the carbon fiber um, front lip and uh, grill mesh. It's pretty clean and uh, when it's showed day we can retract that number plate in the way and it gives the front end a really clean nice look. So he's at the reg. You see the reds folds underneath, but it's not working at the minute. So there, there, there's your one thing you can get for 20 yeah. quid. Yeah, okay. Enjoy that, everyone. Hey, right, Bob. Thank you very much for that. Cheers. A little look around the workshop, see what's happening in there. I think we've got an R32. And we've got Steve working on this R33. Very nice. We've got Matty working on Buzz's GTR. Just starting on uh, Hamid's GTR. This year is going to be mad, and now this car is going to be mad. This car shoots big flames, big, big, big flames. Right everyone, I am in the Lamborghini. What on earth is going on? So you must just brake, lift up, and then... Oh my god! for GM imports mad I hope tomorrow's as good as today and now he's joining us in another GTR you ready oh yeah I don't know about you right but this year is a dream for me like I will have one of these one day I just couldn't imagine driving one of these, like it's just mad. What a car, what a car. I 
gonna wait on the uh, first experience in one of these. I wonder how that's gonna be. Right everyone, that's today over. Nice dino day. We've got another dino day tomorrow. So I'll catch us tomorrow. Bam. How's it going everyone on a nice Friday morning? We've got an R34 line up to go on the dino. So let's hear it. Let's see what the day brings. We've got here Paul Walker, the man himself. What are you doing? Taking over. Taking over. So, Callum, uh, he's obviously got a lot of uh, Geordie in him. We're trying to, we're trying to cut his Geordiness because nobody can understand him. He's worse than me. So, Callum, you're in the 34. How much horsepower does this mate today? A lot. Can you pull it in the shop for us? In? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Right, everyone, that's the week over. I'm Callum. I'm the new host of your YouTube. I need to get me English better so I'm always can understand as Jurgen says. But yeah, man, it's a week of the life of GM. We're going to head home, try and put some videos together. We'll see what happens on Monday. We've got a new week ahead of us. I'm looking forward to a new beginning. Enjoy the video, like, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.